The reason why a reference point is really helpful is they might have had a different experience with their past clients. And if they are someone who didn't have any experience, then they wouldn't really know what they're looking for. Hey there, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Now my goal set at the next video is to walk you through the process of training your virtual assistant to become more resourceful. Now, if this is your first time on my channel, my name is Lian Laila Kaba. I've been working from home since I was 15 years old and now run my own virtual assistant company in the Philippines. And I post videos every Sunday and Thursday on how to work from home and how to have a business from home. So make sure to hit subscribe button right there so you don't miss any of my videos. Now, when it comes to training your virtual assistant to be more resourceful, it could be that during the application process, they seemed really good. They were someone who rocked whatever it is that they focused on as a skill. And you're seeing like, hey, I think they need to be just a little bit more resourceful when it comes to working with me. I'm going to walk you through what are different things that you can do to further just encourage being resourceful of them being someone who dives into things a little bit more and finding you the right information and eventually become a virtual assistant who can help you find information as much as you need. First thing you can do is to provide clarity on on an outcome. This is usually where I see a lot of people fail at when it comes to making sure that their assistant understands what it is that they need in the first place is providing the right outcome. You might be saying that, hey, I need you to do A, B, and C, but for your assistant, they heard D, E, and F just because they had a different reference point. This is why it's really important that you are as clear as possible on the outcome that you need, whether that's giving them pictures, giving them examples of what you are hoping this would look like, or just giving them your reference point. The reason why a reference point is really helpful is they might have had a different experience with their past clients. And if they are someone who didn't have any experience, then they wouldn't really know what they're looking for. So providing clarity on what it is that you need, the outcome that you want to see, is gonna be very important. Now you can say, hey, I need something like this, but make it our branding. Maybe something like that to just add a little bit more of like, hey, figure this out, but this is what I need you to do. Gives a little bit more clarity to your assistant rather than them thinking that if you say, hey, I want you to buy me a jeepney, and in your head, a jeep is like a private car, but if you're in the Philippines, a jeep is a public utility transportation. So you wanna make sure that you have a clear picture of what it is that you mean, because again, you guys might have just different reference points. And if you're able to provide that clarity, that'll help of course, make them more resourceful easier because then they know what they're looking for in the first place. Next thing you can do to have your assistant be more resourceful is to pause before solving it yourself. Now, this is very tempting to do, especially if you have been doing this for a while, if you've been a solopreneur for a while. If you see that your assistant is stuck on something, that you end up just solving it by yourself. But in reality, what happens with this is that they don't learn to become resourceful. They'll be able to submit things to you, kind of not really up to your standards or quality. You end up fixing it anyway. As tempting as it is to put out the fires ourselves as the entrepreneur, we know the process that we want them to go through. This is not gonna teach them to be resourceful because you're gonna fix it anyway, or that you've never really taught them your higher quality of standard. So you need to be able to, again, take that pause before you just go ahead and fix it then you want to make sure that you go ahead and give them the proper feedback. Another way of thinking about it is just ask better questions. Whenever your assistant gives you a subpar, you know, not really matching the type of quality or the output that you needed, you say, hey, I saw that you did this great work. However, I do want to understand your thought process of why this was the way that you handled this. This way they can walk you through step by step something that you might have missed. And again, they have a reference point based on past experience, past jobs, or past ways that they've solve problems themselves and you're able to correct them specifically to the root cause of the problem what it was that they were stuck on so as an example let's say that your assistant has been kind of stuck on sending you things on a deadline so let's say that's that's kind of the problem is they see that you've set a deadline for a task but they keep either submitting it on the day which means that you have to do a lot of corrections before it's done or even worse they submit it later or they ask like hey can I get an extension instead of saying hey you know let me fix this I'll do this myself you ask hey why did this take you so long what are the different things that you got stuck on, what are different things that doesn't really make sense for you on why I set the deadline this way anyway. When you are more inquisitive and you, again, you take that pause in between just fixing things on your own, you're able to teach your assistant the process that you see could be possible. They'll make it easier for them. And also at the same time, in the future, when it happens again, brought it up with them before that they're like, hey, wait, no, I remember that this was a discussion we already had. This is how I can fix this. So then you're training them further on not just sourceful, but 
but also on timeliness and to remind them that hey this is already something we went over you know if it happens again then that's now all my fault part of the virtual assistant thing so make sure that you give that timely feedback and ask better questions so then they can self-correct themselves moving forward plus this is going to be a really good filter for you if they are someone who can work with you long run rather than again in the beginning that you're fixing everything else next is to start then training them on something that you've done or created before now this is where having a standard operating procedure or a documentation on how you do certain things comes in because you can just give them that of like hey this is how I would usually create my Instagram post here's like a video of me doing it I would love for you to start creating your own when you're doing this you're fixing some of the mistakes that they might have in their head that again was just part of their training before in their past employers and you're able to see what are the things that might be missing as well from the process that you doc some of the time we have things that are so automatic in our head that when we're training someone else it's a little bit harder to do because we skip a few steps because we have a few assumptions ourselves so when you do this with your assistant they're then able to help you kind of course correct and have even that system a little bit better this also gives them a good reference point on what are the things that you're looking forward to when it comes to them finishing this task because you've already done this before you're giving them an actual example of how you're expecting this to look like and they're able to make decisions about it moving forward next is then to give them new tasks so when it comes to giving them new tasks you're essentially training them to be more resourceful so let's say that there's a task that has been on your list forever it is one of those important and non-urgent ones you can give this to your assistant to start and run to document and to actually get to the finish point this is one way that you can test and see if again they can be a fit for you in the long run if they can find the resources that they need to be able to get to where you want them to go another way to test this is to give them a variety of tasks based on different skills maybe so then you could just test out where they're at in different fields you know if they applied initially as just a general virtual assistant give them some social media tasks some marketing tasks some sales tasks that way you are just seeing their aptitude on the different skills plus then you can see how resourceful they are based on what they research what they look into if there's someone who can even speak up like hey I don't think this is for me these are just multiple tests that you can give to your assistant to further just see how resourceful they can be if you're not there to keep guiding them another way that you can have your assistant be more resourceful is to just ask them suggestions on how different things that are happening in your business can be done better this way that they are researching how other people are doing it they're looking for tools resources other systems that can be done better you can ask them for ways to make things more efficient to be able to save money or to be able to streamline the process better and essentially just experiment and be able to see other ways to do the thing that you guys have been doing this will give them the confidence of like hey you know I'm owning this this is something that's mine I want to improve this I want to make this better you can frame it in a way of like hey I want this a little bit better right here so then everything else for your process is a little bit easier and they will focus on that they have the outcome of making things easier for themselves and of course one of the pricing the biggest things that you can do to train them and being more resourceful is to ask for their feedback because then they start thinking of things outside of the box they can be more curious of like hey what can be done better in the business or this one process or project that I'm working on what can be something done better by my boss in being a better leader or being a better boss with me so when you do this when you're able to ask them like hey what's the feedback what's something I can do better what's something we can do better you're kind of refining their own skills and having them again be just curious on what are the different things that they can do to help you grow your business now if you guys like this video of course make sure to hit the thumbs up button right there and comment below different examples of how you think your virtual assistant can be more resourceful in your business now if you still haven't yet make sure to hit subscribe button right there so you don't miss any of my videos every Sunday and Thursday on how to work from home and how to have a business from home which you guys can check out those two playlists right here and the latest video right here and i hope you guys have an awesome day remember that small steps matters and i'll see you in the next video bye